Somali Prime Minister Abdi Farah Shirdon insisted on Thursday that his government will not tolerate the violation of human rights, in particular sexual violence against women and children. And this comes after it was reported that the African Union force fighting in Somalia is investigating the alleged gang rape of a woman by its soldiers, a case that has sparked outrage in Mogadishu. A Somali woman alleged that she was abducted, drugged and then repeatedly raped earlier this month by soldiers from both the Somali National Army and Army Som. If confirmed, the case, which has been widely reported in recent days by media in Mogadishu, will badly dent the reputation of the African Union force and play into the hands of Islamist militants, the Al-Shabaab. Well, for more details on this story, we're now joined by CCTV's Mohamed Hirmoge in Mogadishu. Damning allegations there, Mohamed. How are the investigations coming along? Well, Abitus, these allegations of rape uh, came out first last week when the lady was admitted into Banadir Hospital where she is still recuperating. It was revealed later on that the woman, a married mother of four children, have been led into the Maslah military base, a base for the African Union peacekeeping troops, and was later gang raped by a number of army officials after they apparently sedated her. Well, uh, the twist in this tale is that it is seven days later that both the AMISOM and the Somali government respond to these promising investigations into this. The Prime Minister, as you have just said, has said is deeply troubled by the allegations of sexual violence against the Somali women. Uh, in a cabinet meeting today, the Prime Minister directed immediate and speedy investigations into the issue and delegated the Minister for Social Services, Dr. Mariam Kasim, to investigate, uh, to take lead in investigating the issue. On the, on the other hand, Amazon have today in a press release said that they are working alongside the federal government to make sure they get to the bottom of this. Therefore, better as it stands now, investigations have only started. All right, uh, Mohammed, uh, Amisom says it is working with the federal government to get to the bottom of this, but what impact, though, have these allegations had on the public's view of the Amisom troops and their role in Somalia? Well, this will have a very serious impact on the public's view, and it has the potential uh, to shape public opinion on the conduct of the African Union peacekeeping force in Somalia. But the real impacts of this will be gauged after full report is tabled, after investigations are complete. As we have said, investigations have only been directed today, where both Amisom and the Somali government confirmed that they're together in this to get to the bottom of it. But whether or not the investigations will be made public, uh, this indeed, this incident indeed uh, dents the reputation of the Amisom peacekeeping troops as a disciplined force at peace with the people they are serving here. All right, CCTV's Mohammed Hirmoga joining us there from Mogadishu.